In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add placeholder text to your wireframe. Most of your wireframes will contain placeholder text because this is at a stage of the project before a lot of the content is worked out. In some cases, the content and the design may be developed together. So let's take a look at how you can add placeholder text in Photoshop. Thankfully, since CS6, it's gotten a lot easier. So I've got the Type tool selected, and I'm just going to drag out a text frame. And I'll go up to Type and choose Paste Lorem Ipsum. Lorem Ipsum is another name for placeholder text. It's often referred to Greeking the text. It's actually Latin text, and it's a standard bit of placeholder text that you'll see in just about any application. So this works fairly well, although, as you can see, if I increase the size of this uh, text frame, there is more placeholder text that's sort of overset in here. This is different than you'd find in, say, InDesign, where InDesign will fill a text frame with the exact amount of placeholder text that you need. Um, in this case, Photoshop just has a standard length of placeholder text. It will paste that standard bit in. So if I were to select all of this by hitting Command-A or Control-A on the PC and hitting Delete, I'm going to change my, my font back to regular and make it really small, like six point. I'm going to go back up to type and hit paste lorem ipsum. And you can see that the type doesn't actually even fill the text frame. It's just that, that standard bit of text. So if I needed more, uh, I'd actually, I could just hit return and go back to type and paste lorem ipsum again. And it would paste a little bit more for me. It's going to be the same bit of text. And of course, if I wanted to just have a something like a headline, I could delete the unnecessary bits and change the point size to match. As you can see, it requires a little bit of tweaking, but it's a lot more convenient than in previous versions of Photoshop. You don't have to search the web to get your placeholder text now. In the next chapter, we'll take a look at how to organize your content.